I started windsurfing when I was 12 years old and moved to Hawaii when I was 20 to uh, pursue the dream of chasing speed records. The big dream was to break, break 30 knots, you know, it was like if you were if you were under 30 knots, you were like were not one of the guys. It's a little bit like the way people think about the 50 knots today. At the time we were struggling to do 30 knots, so to imagine 36 or even 40 knot gear was, uh, was tough because it didn't exist. You know, we had to actually dream that stuff up and make it and test it. I had had the gear ready already for, for over a year where I already had equipment which was capable of doing 40 knots, but the, the official conditions had never materialized like during an actual speed week. It was probably one of the only times that the record's been broken in less wind, like the, the board speed was, was above what the true wind speed was because there was only really 35 knots of wind. A very, very smooth run, no, uh, no real hysterics about it. It was just a very smooth run, came through the finish line and I look up and it's 40 knots. And then all hell break loose, everyone jumping out of the caravans and screaming and shouting and yeah, going crazy. San Marie saw every single world record from there until 49 knots. Well, the, the record's definitely gone up um, in conjunction with uh, faster and faster places. Seb really redefined speed sailing when he started to work on the canal here in Luderitz. And that allowed 50 knot speeds for the kiters and then subsequently for the windsurfers. Once you've gone through that acceleration phase, um, the canal is at maybe 135, between 130 and 140 off wind. Oddly enough, the loading in the cell actually goes down and you just kind of find yourself kind of floating in this surreal equilibrium where you're really just kind of getting transported down the canal in this gust of wind and you're just counting down the seconds to when that, that finish line flashes by uh, and then the main problem is stopping in time before you hit the wall yeah generally here you don't want to crash the, the only way that i can beat um the, the 100 or 120 kilo guys is is i need to design and build faster gear it's the only way. So this year I bring about 10, 10 innovations with me. If there's one thing which I think is absolutely necessary is a wingsuit. Because I've done a lot of uh, scientific research and uh, we, we, we came to the conclusion that, that the air drag on the body is the number one source of drag now above 50 knots. Weight and strength definitely um, help a lot. And sometimes you get the big guys sitting by the container that there's some of them, they're, they're not going to want to go. So, um, so, so mind power is very important. So it doesn't big or small. Yeah. Can, cancer is the scariest thing that can happen to you for sure. Speed sailing for me now is not, it's not scary at all in comparison to that. It's not like I have a death wish. I don't want to die here in Luderitz, you know, but, uh, for sure, I don't have as much fear um, anymore. And I, I know that there are much harder things in life than what we're doing. This is fun, you know. Where are these people going to be 20 years from now? You know, it's like when I started, the world record was 30 knots. I've seen it go to 50, and now we're thinking seriously about 60 knots. Think about 30 knots higher than we are right now. You know, these guys starting out right now, maybe they are going to be looking at 85 knots as being their goal. Uh, 20 years from now. I don't see any reason why in the future the, uh, the speed surfers won't be doing 100 knots. You know, how much faster do I really want to go? You know, it's like, am I happy to be on a surfboard at 60 knots? Am I going to be happy to be on a surfboard at 70 knots? It's like, there's going to be a point where I'm not going to want to fall off of a board at 70 knots. You know, it's like, it's crazy. The amount of experience I've had since the beginning, um, where I think I've designed things like the cavitational fins and the wingsuits and the tools which the, the next generation of guys are going to need to go beyond 60 knots. Um, really, I, I see that as, as my gift 
back to the sport. You know, it's like what I can do for the sport is to actually design and make make this equipment available to everyone.